you know. Welcome back to Cookies Cooking Vlog. That means it's on, right? Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to another photo shoot, and this time it's for a client. So I'm so sorry I can't show you any of the photos that I'll be taking today, but I will be talking to you guys about how you can start a career as a food photographer. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And follow me on Instagram so you can see some of my work. So while waiting for the dishes, we're trying to figure out what are the names of these spices. <laughs> so this in particular. Yeah. It smells like Italian spaghetti. So I'm going with thyme. So we're gonna ask the chef later what herb it is. I believe I'm right. So what what is this one? Greek oregano. Thank you. <laughs> so. I got it wrong. Okay, thanks. I think I'll be eating a lot. Being a food photographer is one of the funnest parts of photography. Sometimes it's better than shooting portraits. As much as I love portraits and as much as I love street photography and fashion photography, food photography has a special place in my heart. Maybe you don't see yourself as a portrait photographer or a street photographer. Maybe you see yourself as a food photographer. Well, this is the video for you. <laughs> what I'm gonna be sharing with you today is the things I did to get started, what I continue to do, and what I am learning as I continue to work for clients in the food industry. Last year, I was able to book my first client and I shot the thing that I really, really love, which is coffee. That was really a big step for me because I could branch out. I could shoot fashion portraits, events. Now I can actually do food photography and earn from it. So the first thing you have to do if you want to make this a career is what any other photographer does when starting this career. The first thing you have to do is really just take photos. That is the basic step, the first step you have to take. Even if you're not getting paid for it, you gotta shoot food. Even food has a really good angle and very bad angle. So you guys have to practice that. Get the hang of shooting with food because unlike shooting with people, you can't tell the food what to do. You have to be the one to adjust and you have to find a way to make it look beautiful and delicious and enticing. As much as you can, practice, find really good food. Maybe it's not even your food, maybe it's your friend's food and ask them if you can take a picture of it first. I know you have to be that annoying friend who has to take pictures of food first, but if you really want this as a career, your friends just have to cope with you because this is your dream. <laughs> the reason why you have to practice and accumulate photos of food is because you need to build a portfolio. I haven't talked about this before, so this is a new thing, guys. This is a new thing. You have to build a portfolio. You can't wait to have a client to be able to build a portfolio. You have to have a portfolio so you can get clients. That's just basic logic. <laughs> what I did before, I took photos of lots of coffee, lots of food. So I encourage you guys, you really have to make a portfolio because people have a short amount of time to look at your work. Sometimes they don't have the time to go to your Instagram if that's where your portfolio is. Yes, Instagram can be a portfolio, but you really need a file, you know, a portfolio. It doesn't have to be printed, it can be electronic. your portfolio the third thing you have to do is the most discouraging thing ever <laughs> I personally went through it I feel bad every single time am I running sometimes the results aren't so good but you just gotta keep doing it so the third thing that you have to do is bump the ISO <laughs> the third thing you have to do is email clients restaurants coffee shops food stands you just have to do the work email them present your portfolio and of course you have to sound professional you can go online there are lots of templates just search and you can find templates for business emails you can just customize them so it applies to you now emailing is devastating usually out of 50 to 100 emails you get one reply <laughs> but that is the reality of this industry guys so if you really want to enter this industry that is what you have to go through and I'm saying this because I go through it. Maybe it might be a little easier for you. Maybe you have connections. Maybe you know people who own businesses and maybe that will help you get a jump start. But if you don't have any connections, you really have to go out there and email. I'm already telling you right now, it's going to be sad. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of work. In the end, I hope it's worth it. 
is to enjoy. Yeah, enjoy the process. It's going to be hard and it's going to have ups and downs. <laughs> if you don't enjoy it, you're gonna lose your passion for it. If you focus on the discouragement, if you focus on how difficult it is, you're gonna lose the heart to try. I encourage you, keep trying, make the best out of everything. And you never know if you try this out, maybe it will lead you to somewhere or something bigger. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had lots of fun shooting and eating. That's the best part. That's how I can encourage you guys to it. You'll get to taste lots of food. I hope I see you guys again. I will see you guys again. So please subscribe and click the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. And if you like this video, like it. But if you don't, share it and maybe it'll help someone else. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!